Hi, this is Craig Adams from California Lightworks. This week we're in Love County, Oklahoma. We're with Jeff Vittner and Love Buds. I thought it was really interesting. It's a really purpose-built, ground-up operation, family business, and they've done really nice application of our light. So I thought it'd be interesting to see how we got into the business, how it's going, how he's using the lights, what they've learned so far. We harvested our first crop in February of 19. My brother turned us on actually to California Lightworks. Uh -huh. He's been using your products for, uh, I, I don't know, he's got 1100 and I don't know how long he's been using it, but he turned us on thinking, that, you know, they're the, one of the better lights, they're adjustable. Uh, they got the highest intensity for our use. So you did consider HPS or giving? We did, we absolutely did, but the, the heat output of those would just increase our electric bill as it relates to HVAC. My husband's always been interested in science and plants, gardening, that type of thing, and so when we heard that it was going on the docket, we were checking it out and doing the research. It started on August 25th. That's the first day we were able to apply for our license. Last year, 2018? 2018, yeah. uh-huh. Great, so you somehow convinced your father-in-law to apply some money in here. And we somehow convinced him. I still don't know how that happened, but glad it did. We've been very blessed, very successful so far. What parts of the business are you handling? Um, basically everything but growing. So you're doing all the marketing? And all the marketing, um, selling, advertising, scheduling the deliveries. We have two grow rooms currently. Um, we've already poured our expansion for our, our new supersized grow rooms that we're putting on the back of this facility. So this nursery and our bedroom will feed those two facilities. And so my son keeps track of, of making sure the plants move from mother to clone to veg to flower. This is where it all starts, the mother room. This is the mother room. Uh, yeah, this is where we take our clones from. These are actually a couple new mothers that we just brought in. We haven't grown them yet, so uh, they're not full they're not size, full. but. Uh, yeah. I like it. It's very clean, very well controlled environment. You got current culture going using solar system 550s. Yeah. We, uh, we're pretty proud of it. We try and keep it nice and clean, manageable. Nice, and you can adjust the spectrum to get whatever kind of stretching, we our, whatever kind of We've growth. got our California Lightworks control panels so we can, we can adjust all of that. Here's the bedroom. There. So this is where the clones go after they have some roots on them. There, oh, so now you've got three of the current culture pots in each section? Uh, yeah, we've got uh, four of them actually. It'll hold four pots right. in each one. And how big do you try to veg them before you put them into flower? Well, we, we try and have them in here for about three to four weeks. Um, and we like to top them in here once because uh -huh. we, we, we uh, take them into the grow, grow room and we like to train them horizontally, so we top them in here. Very nice. And you're using 550s again. Are you, are you doing a different spectrum here for veg than you do with the mothers? We are. We are. Uh, in here, these are the 550 veg, so they have more blues uh, okay, in them. Okay, yep. More blues specifically for the veg, so we're taking advantage of that. I like it. And then these pots go straight over into the flower Straight room. over there. Smells good. Yeah, it does. We love it. So very nice. So you've got, once again, the current culture with a single plant. You're scrogging them through a we trellis. Are, we are scrogging. We've got solar system 1100s. Yeah. We've got the 1100s in here. And like, like I said, like scrogging it, growing them horizontally so we can get more light on more buds, more grade A buds instead of those B and C ones right. that, that you get underneath. And over here, you've even got the solar system UVB. Do. In between the 1100s, very nice. We like those UVBs because at the end of the grow cycle, they increase that, that trichome production. So you have relatively few plants over a pretty big surface, huh? Right, and as you can see behind us, this is the ideal trellis right here. It takes advantage of the whole trellis. So you get your maximum yield with these great looking buds. And, you, and we've got this drop down to give us about a thousand par. So. Yeah, it's looking really good. And are you always keeping these lights at the same height or are you moving up and down? No, we move them up and down uh, depending on where they are in their, in their growing cycle. Uh, they like a different par level. So yeah, we do adjust them and we have them on ratchets. Bring them up and down pretty easy. Very cool. So and how, how have these lights worked so far? Any problems or any no, issues I you've had with them? I, I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, we love them. They're, they're fully adjustable. They've worked out great for me, and they came highly recommended. Nice. And you got 
foam all over the ceiling, so double insulation. Yeah, we've got six inches of uh, spray foam up there. And so Quest dehumidifiers, Quest, nice. Quest dehumidifiers. CO2 burner. Absolutely. Are these controlling lights in this room? No, they're controlling right, lights in this room, room two. Right. You have the other controllers outside of that as yep. well? Yep. And are you running these manually or a program? Oh, uh, no, we've got them programmed. And, you know, you can program these things to a day, a week, a month, infinity, and, you know, so. Very cool. Nice. Yeah. And hit scroll room, too. Like I said. Now, that's, that's a really nice smell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot stronger in here. These are getting closer to harvest. And let's see. We got some horse over here and some Mandarin Dream over here, so. So are you planning any changes in here? Or? Well, we actually just uh, we just brought a, a little more light in here. Uh, called you guys up, ordered some more lights. We are expanding out here. There's going to be a grill room three here, and we're going to order a lot of lights from you. And how many people do you have working here for an operation like this? It's me. We got Armando and, and Danny and another guy named Steven. So it's, it's about four of us that actually work on the plants. Yeah. Once we expand into grow room three, we're gonna have to bring on a couple more people. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Where's most of the labor? Just handling the plants? Take most of the labor is, yeah, uh, training the plants out, trimming them up. That's where most of the time comes in. Now, when we harvest, there's some time, time right. some yeah. man hours there too. But yeah, that's taking care of the plants. That's where most of the hours are, yeah. 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 Well, I think it's really refreshing to see a real family effort and all of you contributing. And well, yeah, we appreciate it. We're, we're trying. We don't have any outside investors, so it's, it's special to us. All right, Jeff, really impressive. I, I'm really impressed with what you've done. It, it's really clean. It's really efficient and great use of our lights. Once again, thanks for letting us in here. Man, anytime. We wish you success. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it.